was coming home after World War II. Out of Pearl Harbor steamed the mightiest armada in history. It was Aloha to Diamond Head for Admiral William F. Halsey. Final view of the world-renowned landmark that saw American sea power stricken on December 7, 1941, where now rode the fleet that won immortal fame avenging the day of infamy. Into fog-shrouded San Francisco Bay, where thousands lined the hills and piers, sailed 14 warships beneath crowd-jammed Golden Gate Bridge. To the welcomers on the famed Bridge of the Golden Gate, salute from the Admiral on the bridge of a fighting ship. Americans could never forget Bull Halsey's fight from the Marshall Islands to Tokyo Bay that blasted the Japanese fleet out of the Pacific. By October 16, 1945, home were the sailors from the wars. This was the happiest moment of all. To the port of Los Angeles came the battleship Texas, leading four other veteran warships. Every major port was taking a hand in welcome home to the Third Fleet. World War II seemed so far removed now. Through the Panama Canal, the aircraft carrier Enterprise led a fleet of 28, and it was a tight squeeze for the giant flat top, survivor of many an enemy suicide attack, and one of the fightinest ships afloat. In the locks alongside the Enterprise, the battleship Washington inched slowly ahead. It was a close fit here, too, with only inches to spare. A veteran pair, the Washington and the Enterprise, come home in glory. Into New York Harbor, with the dawn lighted by Miss Liberty's torch, sailed famous Task Force No. 2, vanguard of 52 warships that would gather for President Truman's Navy Day review. With a Navy blimp hovering overhead, the Big E berthed at a Hudson River Pier. Then the word sailors like best, shore leave. Boston, too, had the welcome mat out for the men of the North Carolina. Gangway for the Navy. America said, well done, sailor, and welcome home.